with the trending issue that is going on with davido's aid and his wife and the saga that has been trending i'm going to use that as a leverage to also talk to you women now from the whole saga i don't want to go in completely into it i don't want to know what transpired in their marriage or what does not transpire but what i want to ask you as a woman and i'm using his wife as a point of contact you saw this young man he was serving this artist before you met him all these things he was doing was what he was doing for the artist before you met him it wasn't something that he hid he was fond of this artist he was loyal to this artist he loves this artist so much you saw it in fact i am going to tell you that was your attraction he was already so loyal everybody on the internet knew that this particular guy was a loyalist to this artist you saw it you married him you have not married him for up to one year you are telling him to switch some people are saying is it wrong to tell my husband to be a better person is it wrong to tell my husband to do another business and so people in the comment section are saying imagine seeing my husband doing this imagine seeing my husband prostrating imagine seeing my husband acting like a baby your husband was doing it before you met him your husband was doing it he married you in fact the artist was the reason why you married your husband it was because of the artist that's the reason why that girl married davido's aide or pa davido came for the wedding you did not he shuts down the whole place you know when a lot of these young girls see people working for celebrities i don't know what you think they get celebrities are human beings the only difference is that this particular guy is loyal to this artist as a woman if you are sensible you cannot just wake up and want to change a man's life apart from the fact that he's loyal to this artist he's fond of the artist there is how you can actually be loyal to your yoga and you like your yoga naturally i'm going to use my pa my personal assistant as an example my pa apart from the jobs she loves me like a sister it's nothing she doesn't tell me our relationship apart from work it goes beyond work and is even personal yes my pa is a loyalist yes so she even used to tell me madam before i get married you're going to approve the man any man you say i should not marry i will not marry that is how loyal she is to me so if you want to love my pa and i don't like you it's likely not going to work for israel to marry that girl davido had approved it so you cannot just wake up one day and say because you are married to your husband you want him to stop the thing that he loved to do you might want him to change which is okay but it will take time because this is somebody he like loves this is his ogre this is where he fits from this is somebody he's fond of you don't know what him and his ogre has been through before you came into the picture you just came in as a virgin the only thing i've been hearing since that they have been saying is that you're a virgin i've not had any reasonable thing you did in that marriage apart from the fact that you're a virgin madam go and stick back seats let me talk to my young women. Young women. You see, the problem with us is that we always feel that once we enter a relationship, we can change a man. We have the medicine automatic. Pam, pam, pam. You change him. I have told you before that men don't change. Men hide. A lot of men are already used to a certain pattern. For you to change pattern, it is very hard. That is why some men, instead of them to change their pattern, they change their victim. Instead of them to become a better man, they will look for another mumu woman that will be tolerating that they are rubbish. A lot of men did not leave their wives and their girlfriends because they are bad. They left their wives and their girlfriends because they don't want to change their bad habits. 
they will now pick another mumu woman that is desperate to come and be tolerating that nonsense. So don't you ever think that when your exes leave you, their new girlfriend is enjoying. No. The new girlfriend is chopping the shit that you say you don't want to eat again. There are some women that can eat because they are desperate. People like Nkechi Blessing, Sunday, the total letter. That one can eat shit from a man because she desperately wants to get married. That's the reason why people like her can come out and lie that a man have married her. She can come and do frame, full frame, wear engagement ring for society to believe and be shouting my own, my own. Maybe when the man refused to give her what she wants, she came and started dragging the man like the man has small prick and four minutes men. We have women like in Kechi Blessing who are desperados. Who will do anything just to stay with a man. People like Nkechi Blessing Sunday are the kind of people that men change. And that's the reason why Nkechi Blessing changes boys every AK market day. As if she's changing sanitary pad. It is women like that. When men refuse to change their pattern, they'll be looking for women like Nkechi Blessing that are desperate to make a victim because they know that this one can take anything I give to her because she's desperate for marriage. My point is, as a woman, you cannot change a man. You can only tolerate a man. If a man will change, it is by choice. And even if it will change, even if a man will change, it will take time. Because these are men that has been formed. Their mother that born them did not change them. Their papa, no change them. Brothers and sisters, no change them. Who do you think you are? The difference between your, you and a man's mother is sex. A lot of men are even closer to their mother than their wives. The only thing you can give to your husband hmm, that his mother cannot give to him is sex. His mother can give companionship. Yes, my mother is more, a lot of mothers are more interesting. A lot of kids prefer to stay with boys, prefer to stay with their mother than their wives. The only thing mothers cannot give their child, every other thing we can do it. Companionship, mothers will give you. Food, we cook. Protection, we give. After all, we've been giving it to our boys, our children, till they saw you and married you. So don't you ever think that just because you married a man and you're having him, you can just wake up and just change his life. What his mother could not do is a lie. Even if that man wants to change because of you, it will take time. And you have to be patient. You will do it with love. You will not do it by force. Men don't change with force. You just keep giving them reasons. And that's where patience and endurance come in. When they tell you that marriage and um, relationship is patience and endurance, you think that we are joking. The patience and endurance simply means you are going to meet a pattern because these people have dated other people and they have learned something from them. And that's why personally, I don't date too many people. I can count how many men I've dated in my life. They don't reach seven, maybe five. Why? I don't want to be picking different patterns. I don't want to be saying all men are wicked, all men are the same. No. I have dated good men. That's the reason why I cannot come and use my ex-husband. I've been married before and come and be defining him because I've dated a good man. I've met good men. And that's why I don't date anyhow. Because when you date too many people, they mess with your mindset. A lot of you women are not mentally stable because you have dated plenty of people. Right now, you're not shouting, all men are the same. All men are scum. Who told you to go and be dating all the men? Pick, pick. The same thing with a lot of uh, men. You've dated so many, you've slept with so many women that every woman to you is an illusion. show. You don't even have trust issues. So then you marry, only you marry, only you don't get peace of mind. It is because of the life you lived. Let me tell you something about consequences. The reason why we don't live a certain kind of life is not because you will beat us or because we want to be good girls. We don't want to live all this wayward life because we understand the consequences. It will begin to affect our mental health. You will now start to think that everything is bad. You will now start to become over, over secure, over zealous. You become a shadow of yourself. You will see yourself and you'll be running. You will think that everybody is chasing you. That is what Waka Waka used to cause. That is why I shower people know they stay one place. They live in fear because they think everybody will do them what they do others. 